Oh, there's a car right there, 100%. About 10 feet out, there's a big car. So he's gonna dive on it and see what it is. The search has begun here in Montgomery, Alabama. We are at our first location. This is the closest body of water to where he lived. So uh, we're gonna check this with the RC boat. It's actually a really good sized lake. Check out what I'm looking at. It's a pretty big lake. Uh, now, I don't really see any easy access points and it's really well maintained and it's gated, but it's the closest to his house. So, you know, crazier things have happened. Somehow or another, maybe his car ended up out here. I just don't know, but. I mean, we got the RC bow. We'll check it out real quick. This won't take but five, 10 minutes. And then we'll move on to the next. We're gonna end up in the river at the end of the day if we don't find anything in these ponds. But I guess we're gonna start with the ponds first. Yeah, this was right down the street from the neighborhood. Right? Oh, yeah. So we'll check this. I mean, if a car did end up out here, man, he, that'd be, that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, it would, I mean, I don't think that side is worth checking because you can't get over there. So yeah. really, it's really just right in here. Maybe we just go back and forth on this side and clear this section. Yeah. It's clear. Be a fun dive. It might be two feet. Might be. It might be full of cars. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, already it's seven feet. Dang, it drops right off. Well, there's a car right there. 100%. Oh my goodness gracious, that dude. That is a car a thousand percent. Holy smokes. That's a car car. I don't know what that other thing was. What car was he driving? He's driving a, a Cadillac. That kind of looks like the right shape, dude. It does. And I spared you with the boring parts, but Adam's all suited up right now. Uh cool thing is we finally got ourselves a uh, OTS underwater communications so we're gonna attempt to talk to each other while he's underwater and he'll be able to tell us in real time what this car is if it's him if it's not so should be pretty cool so the cars up here yeah right where you guys are standing there's a piece that piece of paper right there about 10 feet out there's a big car so he's gonna dive on it and see what it is. Might be a missing person from the neighborhood. Oh. He went missing back in 2004 in a Cadillac. Oh. And this, this car, it looks like it, so it might be his, but we'll see what happens. Ah, what we got here? That's from the rear? Or is that a front window? I think that's a front. Okay. 
pa the, the passenger front. Okay, so what were you saying about the the rear little window? They're all triangles. So the, there's a rear window. Is that what you're saying? That's little behind yeah, but the big it's like window. A triangle like that, I think. And that's up the front. That's not the right type, right? For real? As much as I want it to be, I don't, I don't know. The way you're describing it, it's not. It's not that Cadillac. Kind of looks like a Cadillac, but not the one we're looking for. Unless uh, they had. They had the. I don't know. Maybe we could look at different models like Deville or something. But I mean, it's. The, the trunk is closed and the lock is like twisted broken. Hmm. Huh. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna go get these. Are the other two? We got two more cars right here we're gonna dive on. I mean, it's. I'm right, it's right, it's straight that way. See here. Hmm. It seems like it's a new, newer one. I don't know how a new one got out here. All right. All right. Okay. One more. Ugh. We're set up for the third car right here. Just going down the line, diving them. This is that one that we saw first. We don't have no idea what this thing looked like. It looks weird underwater, so. Could be a new car, a newer one, but oh, we just found a sign. No parking? Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. What'd you find? It's a Hyundai. I guess minivan of some sort. All the weird thing is all the uh, doors 
and the back hatch were open, except for the driver's door was closed. Was it sliding doors or like actual, just normal doors? Open, just normal doors. Mini, it's not mini they have weird hybrid minivan things, but. I looked at my, how old do you think it is? Pretty old, not old? Uh, I don't think it's super old. The tags really ain't showing that they're that old. I mean, they that's, must, that's a new they must, they might not close that gate off at night. You know, it was driving in here. Y'all looking for us? Did you get that call? Yeah, yeah that's us. We's well, over there on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> do you want to drive over there? We show you where they're at, or you just want to run the tags, or what do you want to do? Yeah, we'll run the tags. We're going right over there. Right. Do you right. like scuba diving, or you just. Yeah, we, we was running the sonar in the lake with a little RC boat, uh -huh. and we found uh, four cars, and these two had tags on them. And the other one was really old. We couldn't have a tag on it. So the car's still down there? Yes. Really? Because this, let me see, this was an Expedition, and that was a Hyundai. Is that what it came back to? Yeah. What was the Hyundai, the model of it? Uh, six. Six. What was the model? Did it say oh, like Santa Fe? Santa Fe. It was a Santa Fe. Yeah, yeah. I knew that it was. Okay. It's got the sun. It's got the sun. I didn't know what the hell that means. Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Yeah, the third car is old. We thought it might be a Cadillac, but we have no idea what the hell it is. The uh, JD Ford Yeah. 98. Yeah, he could stand on top of it out in the rig yeah. in the in the lake. Uh, uh, do you want me to show you guys where they're at? Yeah, I, I, I thought. Okay. Well, they came back on file. Really? But they didn't come back to anything. No, they're not stolen. So. So it's like insurance, maybe. Could be. Abandoned. I don't know. That's so weird. When the car comes back, like, oh, I don't know. Maybe. I was like, well, somebody owned it. You can't figure out who the hell owned it before. It'll drop it on the doorstep. So you said one by the trash can, ten feet out. Yep. Yeah. The other one's like right here. That's about twenty feet out. Much right here, straight out. And then right there, same thing. That's the Hyundai. This is the Expedition. That's the old rusty car. There's one more. Yeah, I didn't see anything inside. I, I it's next to zero visibility, right? Yeah, it wasn't great visibility, but they, they, must, they all had windows open or broken, or doors open. Yeah, all the doors were open on the Hyundai. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I appreciate y'all coming out. No, thank you. Well, that was fun. That's going to do it for today's video. This car, I still have a question mark because, like, we know it's not a, a, a Cadillac Broham, but it is a very old blue car. Yeah. And it's, it looks, I don't know, it, it, it looks intriguing. So I'd like to probably pull more parts at that so we can figure out what it is. I'm gonna try to get in touch with the family to confirm that this was his address three minutes away, you know. And... Yeah, maybe they have a picture of his car or something, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, we're out of here. Wait for part two, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next video. Woo!